welcome to Settler's Landing, right here on the southern end of Nocatee, right next to Settler's Pond, the catch and release fishing pond in Pine Island Academy. Usually if you've watched my videos, I've been saying over the last year or two that it's always been a better option to build a brand new home. Well, now that they're coming towards the end of development here in Nocatee, as they release new builds in the new community of Seabrook at Reflections, resales has become a good option. And so today I want to present to you a neighborhood that's called Settler's Landing, a fantastic option with six different builders. People always ask me, I could go for a new build, but I'm okay with a home that's two or three years old. Well, this is it. Check it out. Welcome to Settler's Landing. So, Settler's Landing is in the southern end of Nocatee, and you're probably asking me, well, why would you choose to buy a resale in Settler's Landing? Well, actually, there are still a few opportunities to buy a spec home here in uh, Settler's Landing, but there are a lot of opportunities for resales that are only a couple years old. And the reason why you would consider Settler's Landing is because the pricing is actually pretty competitive, if not less, than some of the new, new construction that we're seeing in Reflections and uh, Seabrook Village. Um, if Kurt doesn't put his seatbelt on, that's going to be ringing throughout the whole time, isn't it? No? I guess. But thank God you got a mic on to flush it out some. <laughs> All right, so basically your options here can be very good. If you do not want to wait for new construction, you want to find a pick up yourself a deal on a resale market. And also if you want to be close, close to the Settler's Pond, which is one of the only catch and release stock ponds here in Nocatee. And then finally, you're going to have quick access to a, a established K through eight school known as Pine Island Academy. Uh, in Settlers, in um, Seabrook Village, there is going to be a new school in 26, 27, I believe. And all the folks, children that go to, uh, that live in uh, Seabrook Village, they live in uh, uh, Palm Crest of Seabrook or Coral Ridge of Seabrook, they're all going to be rezoned to uh, the new school in Seabrook Village. And most likely the folks here in Settlers Landing, since we're so close to uh, Pine Island Academy, you're going to be able to keep your kids consistent in that K through 8 school. So let's just show you where we are here on the map. So right now uh, I'm going to give you a quick overview. Um, this is where Seabrook Village is. This is where Coral Ridge is. This is where Palm Crest is. And right now we're right here in, in Settler's Landing. Settler's Landing is probably the last big phase before Seabrook Village. Like I said, they're still um, actually finishing up a few homes here now. Uh, it started about pre-sales about three years ago. And a lot of these homes were sold right after COVID or during COVID, people just trying to get out of wherever they lived. And so there was, um, uh, a, quite a frenzy at that time to purchase homes. So you'll see more resales because at that time people were just trying to get away from wherever they were and this was a phase that was currently being built. So right now I'm on a cul-de-sac here in Settler's Landing, one of the uh, few uh, cul-de-sacs. And as you notice here, um, this is the Settler's Pond. So one of the great advantages of being able to not only fish, catch and release on the pond, but there's also jogging, biking and everything right here to the left of the neighborhood. And even better is the golf cart path that goes around the pond to get to Pine Island Academy, which is right here. What very few people realize is Pine Island Academy is actually in the St. Augustine limits. So if you wanna just come out here to Phillips Highway, you can actually get down to St. Augustine a lot faster from this southern location here in Nocatee. So 
what does Settlers Landing have to offer? Well, pretty much everything. You've got 40 foot lots, 50 foot lots, 60 foot lots. You have estate size lots as well, which we're gonna get to six different builders. Uh, we're talking about all the national builders, including Toll Brothers, David Weekly, um, and then some of the local builders like Riverside Homes, uh, Providence Homes, and some really beautiful homes by Dosti as well. And then of course, not to forget also another national builder, ICI, um, which has a very nice large spec home that they're finishing up here. Um, you'll see homes ranging between the mid 600s up to $2 million. So there is something for everyone. And what I find really impressive about this neighborhood besides the location, the convenient location to the school, and having that pond, uh, which we've seen a lot of people jogging, golf cart riding, bike learning to do their bike riding and everything, um, is the park is super awesome here as well. So very cool place for families, um, very established if you don't wanna be dealing with construction. And like I said, even I have a current listing right now and I'm blown away about the opportunity of pricing when you start uh, purchasing a new build, you don't realize that you have so many additional expenses after you close. So if you can get in a resale that's in good condition, kind of like my listing I have currently right now, it has plantation shutters. It has the epoxy garage floors, all the storage in the garage. Um, it has a high grade kitchen. Um, all the upgrades you'd want in a new build without paying that premium. So uh, a lot of resale opportunities in here. And um, I think it's because folks bought a lot of these homes during or after COVID. It may not have been exactly what they wanted. So they're either upsizing, they're either downsizing. And so for the first time I can say in two years, I would say always worth the visit on a few resales just to see uh, just to compare to the new builds. I mean, some of these 40 foot new builds and reflections, it's costing about $800,000 to build a, 40, uh, a 23, 2400 square foot home on a 40 foot lot. That's a lot of money, to, that's a premium to pay to be into for reflections at Seabrook. And that's based on choice, right? So I always say to people, if that's unaffordable with 7% rates, well, maybe it's time to look at a resale there's so many incentives now even on private resale sellers are are offering uh, a little bit of incentive to help out with closing costs or buying down that rate all right so as i wrap it up this is one of my favorite parts of settlers landing these are all the larger estate size lots this is one of my favorite streets in nocatee because quite honestly You've got a street here on a cul-de-sac that only has seven homes on it. Just to show you how private some of these homes are with amazing lake to preserve or preserve views and no neighbors to one side. And believe it or not, there are a few homes that are on the resale market now that you can have that and not have to go through the build process. Now, of course, you need a healthy budget as these homes definitely near $2 million. It's far as I understand, there's a home in here that was built that cost well over $2 million. So if you're worried about, you know, are you paying too much? I think that the premiums in Nocatee are going to be maintained over the long term and that the value of the land here is just so high that uh, something like this, as unique as this, as private as this, is going to be hard to come by. So they'll always maintain their value. So why would somebody be selling? Well, Folks, again, purchase at a time where it was a frenzy. They may want to downsize. They may, it may be too much home for them or whatnot. Everybody has different reasons for moving right now. And sure, maybe some people bought in at the right price and they want to catch out, ca uh, cash out. But if you consider that there's less and less opportunities to buy a new build, the prices are justifiable and it's a great option if you're certainly looking for privacy this is one of the neighborhoods I would certainly consider. My name is Greg DiTullio. Um, if you haven't watched my channel before, uh, I'm a resident here in Nocatee, so I have a lot of videos uh, regarding Nocatee. Um, go ahead and check out these next videos. And if you are looking for a resale or new construction, 
Again, it's in your best interest to have someone representing you. It's no cost to you with the builders. And uh, as far as purchasing a new home, you certainly want to understand all the idiosyncrasies of all the builds here. These aren't custom homes, so uh, you certainly want to have your due diligence in order to make sure that you're making the right purchase for you and your family. Um, if you want more information about Settlers Landing or any other community here in Nocteer St. Johns County, my number and my information will be pinned to the comments below as well in the description. And I will see you on that next video. Thank you.